Price Change Manager is an app that's available on Clover and it enables the kind of merchants that are looking to have the price of their menu uh, be changed based on uh, the time of the day or day of the week uh, or, or, or some other uh, chronological or time uh, event. So this can be either recurring or a one-time thing, but in any case, the scenario that's really important to this merchant is that the price be changed as price and not as, you know, here's original price and here's a discount 20% or here's a discount. So there's, you know, the, the point here is that we're not discounting, we actually are changing the price. So first let's talk about the setup. And while I already have one setup, I'm just kind of going to go through the options that you have. So because we're changing the price, we're going to add a name, you know, why are we doing this? And so here's a use case, for example, on Wednesdays, you might have a live band uh, performing at your place. And because of it, all the, you know, all everything that you are selling is 20% more, right? So hopefully this is half <laughs> believable as a scenario, but let's call it a concert night. Concert night. Yeah. And, you know, for demo purposes, I'm just going to say that this is an all day event and it's recurring, but you could uh, make it, you know, specifically, you know, have it, give it a, a, you know, this is a start date and then an occurring event is just, you know, when do we start? And then, you know, the recurrence kind of takes over, but really uh the the length the, the duration of the event is the you know the time uh f from 0 to 24 and so you control when it starts and when it ends and then how often it triggers i have it set up so that it triggers all the time um just so that it's easier to demonstrate uh you know occur every one week on all days without an end and let's go ahead and you know we mentioned a 20 percent scenario so i'm gonna switch that down and the price can either go up or down right so we're saying it's 20 percent up because of uh uh you know concert night in fact we can we can probably say 20 percent up something like that um all right and there it is and now we also have control over the menu or, or or the inventory as it were right so i'm not strictly a restaurant or rather the device that we're using is not strictly a restaurant but the you know an inventory is an inventory and these are categories uh you can navigate through those um and then there's select all which will select everything inside this category or there is a select entire inventory uh right there Right, so I already have everything selected again, so this is just for demo purposes and it makes it a little bit easier, but you get the idea how you can control, you know, what can be selected. And once it saves, once it's saved, you know, there it is, we have our um, basically triggers set up and now we're just going to use a register app. Uh, let me go ahead and open that again. So here's our register app and let me just get into waters, for example. And here's our test product 510. Uh, let me just kind of zoom in a little bit. Uh, product 510, as you can see, uh, costs $15. But we have a 20% up, so we're going to choose uh, this item and it's going to show up at $18. Uh, you can see that. Let me just, there it is. You can see that the price was changed and. Uh, Concert night 20% up is added uh, right there. Um, so it's kind of visible, you know, why this is happening. And uh, and the discount is not used. And so the item continues to cost $15 in the inventory, if you can see. But the transaction will continue to go at uh, $18. No matter what item you pick, it's going to do that. Uh, let's pick this one. So you get the idea. And that's basically the function of uh, Price Change Manager. Um, and, and, and hopefully this is uh, useful to your business because we have received quite a few requests uh, for this particular functionality. So there it is. Thank you.